We're live. We're live. I love doing lives. So thank you for being here. I'm going to move the camera down so you can see the kids. Yeah, because okay, I'm sure. Oh, yeah. we got feedback on one of our other cameras, but um, we're going to give a little bit of time for people to come in and we're just going to say hi. I'm Erin. You probably know us all. I'm Bob. No. Hi. hi Bob. I'm Colt. <laughs> this is Brooklyn. Mm -hmm. I'm Phil. And who's this? This is Libby. But I imagine you all know us pretty well. I actually saw uh, that before we went live, there's somebody who's maybe in Germany right now, and it's like 2.30 a.m. So it's probably like 3 a.m. there now. That, is that true? If that's true, that is nuts. And thank you so much for being awake right now with us. That's crazy. We've got a lot of cool stuff to talk about today, and that's all leading up to our really fun Q&A in a little bit. Mm -hmm. uh, but we don't want to get into that right now because we've, we're going to have some people who are jumping on here in a little bit. So yeah, we're going to your questions. Yeah, yeah. Make, record those, save them for the end. And we're going to get to all of those. And Brooklyn, you can kind of keep an eye on the screen over here if you want to look at yeah. the comments. Yeah, we've got a few can. screens going on this time. Our last live was on New Year's Eve. So it was really like in the moment. Uh, but here we've got a little setup going on, especially with the kitchen and the drinks. Phil has outdone himself with this cocktail. You guys are in for something really, really special. Cocktail is one thing that we're gonna make here in the beginning. So the number one, Aaron and I have a drink in our hand because I, you know, in our other home in Metro Manila, it is 10 a.m. But here it's 7 p.m. on a Friday night. Mm -hmm. So we're ready for a cocktail and uh, yeah, I made a really cool concoction here that's inspired by all of our Philippines travels, so I'll show you that in a little bit. Uh, this is on our Live the Philippines channel. And if you don't know, our main channel is Always Be Changing. Always Be Changing features all of our worldwide travels. We've been going all around the world for more than three years now. Live the Philippines is our channel that's dedicated to our new part-time life in the Philippines. We just got an apartment, a condo, in BGC Metro Manila about a month ago. And so now we're going to be out there probably at least half the time, although we can talk about this a little bit um, coming up. I see someone but in, looks in like Poland and it's 3 a.m. Poland, 3 yes. a.m. Yeah, same as Germany. But uh, it's looking like we're going to be spending most of spring out in Manila or in the yeah. Philippines anyway. But we'll be doing some island hopping. We've been doing a lot of that. Yeah, we've got a lot of uh, uh, places that are at the top of our list. So we're going to be hitting those mostly in the beginning of the year because we're just gonna tick them off one by one. We gotta go here next, gotta go here next, gotta go here. Antipolo, do you know where Antipolo yes, is? Yes, yes, it's not too far from Manila, maybe like an hour drive outside Manila. So we've already got people from all over the world. And you know what? Why don't I get started on the cocktail? That way, as people are still jumping on, we're not covering anything that they're going to miss out on. Once we have cocktails in hand, we can move into some of the real meat of the convo here. So mm. kids, if you want to, you can have a seat. I'm gonna get into this cocktail here and babe, you maybe keep an eye on comments and let me know if there's anything we need to know about. Okay, I got, I'm on it, I'm Someone on the comments. Said, what is the hardest travel you guys have experienced or what tra challenges often you and, what, keep reading? Uh, yeah, yeah, if you want to, let mom uh, yeah. head up. And then we'll do Q and A after. <laughs> he gave up. No worries, All right, baby. so the cocktail that I'm going to make tonight for us or this morning for our friends in the Philippines is the Tito's Mango Sour, inspired by our, our travels throughout the Philippines, but most importantly, sponsored by our friends over at Tito's. Yes. Yeah. Thank you, Tito's. It's, it l really, really has been our favorite vodka for years now. Not just ours, but Nelvin's favorite vodka. You've probably seen this on our New Year's Eve Live, our New Year's Eve episode, and maybe some other episodes already. We've been talking about it a lot, but before you feel like, hey, the Lockwoods Future have episodes. totally sold out to Big Vodka, <laughs> they haven't paid us a dime. No. But true. my friend Peter, new friend Peter in BGC, he lives two blocks from us on High Street. He is like the regional head for Tito's for like, if I'm not mistaken, all of Southeast Asia, Japan, Australia, uh, New Zealand, like this whole area. And just such a cool guy. And I told him, you know what, we'll kick it up a notch on this live episode, Peter. 
if you give me your Tito's bar cart. Not only will it look awesome in our new condo in Manila, but he's actually taken this thing down onto High Street, wheeled it down there, and passed out shots of Tito's vodka with, I think it was calamansi juice, a little bit of calamansi oh, in there. That is a good combination. Just handing it out to people. Yeah, I, so. I had that in our, our recent episode on ABC, but don't go and watch it yet because we're actually going to repost our, our trip to Palawan, Palawan uh, on LTP so you guys can watch it there and it's going to be one compilation episode. So I think that's the best way to do it. So wait if you haven't. But anyways, in that episode, while we were there, I had a vodka soda with calamansi juice and it blew my mind. It was a game changer because it, it wasn't so heavy with sugar and it didn't fill me up too much. It was kind of like the perfect happy hour cocktail. Well, Not as perfect as this one. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. Sorry. Um, so anyway, let us know in the comments if you think, number one, I should wheel that cart down to High Street myself and start passing out mm. some little shots of Tito's vodka. If you think that would make a really good impromptu meet and greet. Uh, and number two, let me know if you think I would get arrested for doing that because I'm just handing out alcohol in the middle of the street. I don't know. All right, so let's get into this. I'm going to point this a little farther back up now because the kids are temporarily gone. And while you're starting to make that, um, so we've got a few questions about Reagan. Uh, she's not here right now. So we are in Denver to spend time with her, but she's off doing a driving lesson right now. Yeah, she's about to get her driver's license. She actually just turned 17, so she's getting a really late start. Usually you could get your license when you're 16 here in the U.S., but uh, she, yeah, she just got a late start in terms of driver's training and everything. So many hours. So yeah. she doesn't even finish that until, I don't know, maybe a little bit from now, but she's at the driving center, which is probably a good half an hour away. So I don't think we're gonna see her tonight. But she's very excited to come out to the Philippines in... Summer! July, I guess, Well, right? we're hoping early summer. I'm hoping June. Okay, I thought we were going to be in Korea. No, we're going to be in Korea... I think it's June. No, end of May, yeah. early June. We'll, we'll see, because we're meeting my sister there. She's going to be out there. All right, uh, let's get into this. I only got a haircut in BGC, the Who last you episode. To? You're right, I'm sorry. <laughs> ah, so... Somebody's asking me about my hair if I got a haircut, and not too recently. Last haircut I got was in BGC. The next haircut I get is gonna be in BGC. All right, I'm distracting you from the cocktail, aren't I? Your last one was in BGC. We have the yeah, episode. Yeah, the next one. Was okay, okay, I was just yeah. a little confused there. Okay, yeah, let's get into this cocktail because I got a lot to get through quickly. Yeah. Uh, it's basically a martini, and I've prepared some of these things in advance. So number one, it's a mango-flavored, mango-inspired cocktail. So I took Tito's, I put it in a glass jar with mango, okay? This is called a vodka infusion. You just let it sit. Usually I let them sit for like a week or two. This one I actually had to speed up. And you, if you're in the Philippines right now, you're gonna have an even better version of this because you're gonna have special- Philippine mangoes. Not, is it special, special mangoes. <laughs> you're gonna have the best, yummiest mangoes from the Philippines in your infusion. Okay, second thing, simple syrup. Okay, so we've got the vodka, which is infused, but we need more sweetness. So we do simple syrup, which is just equal parts sugar and water brought to a boil, and that's it. Um, but I infused this one. I put mango in there and I put basil in there when I steeped it. So now it is infused with that flavor. Number three, to offset the sweetness, we need to have some sour. So I've got some fresh squeezed calamansi juice right here, but we're in Denver, so it's not calamansi, it's just lime. Shh. Okay. We're gonna do something special with a little egg white. I'm not gonna show you because it'll just pour out, but it's in there. And because there are a lot of things that go really well with mango. One of those would be some herbs like basil, thyme. So that's why I'm using basil. Rosemary. Goes yeah, you could it, do right? rosemary. I wouldn't, I don't touch rosemary unless it's around Christmas though. And I don't make them either, so just listen to him, not me. The other thing is spices go really well with mango. So things like cinnamon, cardamom, and whatnot. So I'm gonna do some aromatic bitters, just a few drops of that in here also. And I think that covers all of it. So let's get busy. Number one, shaker. Okay, so I've got two of these. This is a Boston shaker. I've already pre-poured the right amount of vodka infused. So that's my Tito's infused with mango. I've got my simple syrup. By the way, this is about four parts vodka to one part each. Simple syrup. So Phil's cocktails tend to be pretty potent. And in, one part lime juice, calamansi juice. In a really juice. good way. 
Um, they will knock you on your butt if you're not careful, but they are so flavorful. And what I love about cocktails are the strong flavors. Okay, get in the shot. I'm getting in the shot. Okay, but while you're doing that, hey, I'm gonna pour this egg white in here, okay? Just a raw egg white. I know it sounds gross, but it's magic. It makes the drink so awesome and foamy and frothy. And... So I'm gonna do something called a dry shake first. So there's no ice in here yet. Now you can talk. Okay. His drinks are super potent, but they're balanced so, so perfectly. So follow these recipes, just don't have too many. And please, please, I don't wanna be too bossy, but don't drink and drive, of course. And that's a really good point. This is a very strong drink and it's dangerous. Most vodka infusions that we make with this Tito's are very dangerous because it's mostly booze. It's like 99% vodka and it's just flavored, but they go down so easily. I'll have, another time I'll tell you the story about when I made a whole bottle of pineapple infused vodka mm -hmm. for my parents and they drank the entire bottle because they didn't understand that it was still just vodka. Nice. I'm gonna put some ice in here now for the okay. second shake, you okay. can talk. All right, so somebody just asked us about our favorite travel or our favorite credit cards for travel perks and we have two that we really love. Uh, we love the platinum card from American Express. The travel perks are phenomenal with it. And the other one is we love the, the Chase. It's a Chase card with our United Mileage Plus. Um, and that one's just great because we're very loyal to United. Yes. If you don't fly United, if you live in Manila, you know, then that one's gonna be off the yeah. table. But. So a different credit card might be the right fit for you. I do a dance when he shakes. We'll keep going, we'll keep going. I can't stress enough how important it is to make a cocktail very, very cold. Yeah. That's the easiest way to go from a mediocre cocktail or a bad cocktail to a fantastic cocktail, no matter what the flavors are. Mm -hmm. Make it cold. Make it cold. We're shaking. And then I'm gonna finish that credit card thought. So you might be a better fit for different credit cards because uh, they can have unique benefits for, for whatever your needs are. So you can check out some of the other ones that we think are, oops, that uh, you should check out on followabc.com slash credit cards. Yeah, and let's be honest, n neither one of our favorites is gonna be good if you live in Asia most likely because right. American Express is not heavily supported in Asia. Mm -hmm. And like we said, United, you're probably gonna be flying some other airline. Right, so okay. go take a look and see which ones are gonna be a good fit for you. So we've got our little strainer. Look how frothy and foamy it. Oh my gosh, it looks like Christmas snow, but with mangoes, so it's tropical. There we go. Did you say the name of this yet? Yeah, Tito's Mango Sour. Okay, so. We'll show you, we'll hold this up in just a second so you can see how the egg white separates on top. But first, okay. I don't usually garnish cocktails at home because it's a waste of time. We're just drinking them on our own anyway. But for stuff like this, I will. So you take your calamansi, lime, and I'm just going to grate it a little bit on top just so you get this nice green speckle on the top. And then you will get some of the aromatics as well. So I'm gonna do one basil leaf for garnish on each one. And then let's see if we can see it on camera. So a little foam top. And by the way, I had to make these earlier so we could test the recipe and make sure it was all good. And it's the best cocktail I've ever it. crafted. And it's I really good. love them. You're not gonna drink yours? I am, but I wanna get a uh, picture of you. Okay, do I you want a picture of the whole thing? picture for Instagram, Go ahead, right? yeah, so here, you'll see. Oh my gosh. You guys were here at the moment this picture was taken. Yep. So if you see it on Instagram or Facebook, you can say, I was there. Let me get there. This set up here. All right. <laughs> Ready, here we go. Okay, cheers, my love. Cheers. Mmm. Mmm. It's so delicious! It's incredible that without any mango juice or mango in there, it tastes like a mango. We, you don't taste any booze at all. And somebody just said we need to open up a speakeasy and, I mean, we would might. it put it past we us? Might. Yeah. Phil's White, right? Isn't that what we would call it? Oh, yeah, if it was in the Philippines, we'd have to do Phil's. a play off Phil's of... Phil's what do I? What do I call it? Uh, mutual namesake. It's like... You know, I feel like my name is 
after the Philippines, but Philippines came from King Philip, so it was named after Philip, that, that kind of thing. Yeah. So. A lot of history uh, there. Anywho. Okay. So, hey, Peter, mm. thank you so much, buddy. That is a good, good martini. And you know what? Here's the thing about Tito's. Did you want to say something before I do my little Tito's spiel? I just wanted to say thank you to Tito's, but, you know. To Peter. Do you? Yeah, and to <laughs> Peter, and grateful so, for the, the booze. <laughs> here's the thing about Tito's. It's still kind of hard to find in the Philippines. Some places do have it. SNR, at least in BGC, sells it, mm. thanks to Peter, I think. But you go to most restaurants and they don't have it. But you've got to start asking for it so that they start carrying it. Because here's what you do. You go in and you say, yeah, can I have a Tito's martini? And they say, we don't have Tito's. And you say, how can you not carry the only vodka with a Tagalog name? Right? Boom. Mic drop. Mic drop. Yeah. The official vodka of the Philippines. There it is. Yeah. Cheers again, my love. Cheers. Yeah. Right. I, I love drinking it in martinis. Like the flavor of it is really good. So, you know, some vodkas you only mix with and some vodkas you just want the best premium because you're drinking it basically straight when you have a, a martini. But we use Tito's for everything, for all of it. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Um, do you feel like you went into enough detail on the... Puerto Princesa episodes. Did you mm. fully explain that there were four and blah, blah, blah? And don't I don't know if I fully them? explained it. Um, a, a little bit. So just to recap, we did four episodes in Puerto Princesa. But if you're here on Live the Philippines, don't go and watch them quite yet because our very next upload will be a compilation of those four together here. So And it goes on this channel, LTP. Yeah. Uh, so it'll be a whole lot more efficient way to watch it than going yeah. and trying to track them down now. And it's part of our transition into having two channels um, because we didn't want to abandon the Philippines as international travel content because it absolutely is. Uh, but we also don't want to leave it out of living in the Philippines because it absolutely is part of it. But I think moving forward, we're going to just highlight the Philippines in live the Philippines as much as possible. There you go. There you go. Okay. So with that in mind, oh, there was one other thing I wanted to mention. Let me see, gotta check my notes here. Oh yeah, the recipe. If you wanna make this cocktail at home and you went out and you found your Tito's and vodka, you your, your uncle vodka, mm -hmm. then you're gonna want this recipe. We're actually gonna post this on short form. So we'll probably put it in YouTube community and then we'll do it on Instagram and Facebook also. So mm -hmm. make sure you're following us on at least one of those and we'll post it this weekend so you can grab it. So somebody just said that this, you know, asked about Pisco Sours and this cocktail is a little bit similar to Pisco Sour because of the egg white froth. So it, this has the color because of the lime juice and the mango uh, and then the egg white is what makes it super foamy on top. And sours will always, a traditional sour of any kind will always have simple syrup, which we use. Ours is just infused with basil and mango and it'll always have uh, the, the sour component, so lemon, sour lemon, mm. lime, calamansi, any of those. Pisco sour would have pisco instead of vodka. There right. we go. All right. Super yummy. Okay. Why don't you check that question out right there. Uh, uh, do, so somebody's asking if Colt and Brooklyn have plans uh, going on to... Well, now it disappeared, honey. Oh, oh I, sorry. Yeah, gonna, yeah, we've got them over here. Yeah, if the Colt and Brooklyn have plans on going to university or college, <laughs> um, you know, those are evolving plans. So I, I can picture Brooklyn going to college and really thriving there. Um, Colt, as of now, doesn't want to go to college, but that could change. Yeah, he's still, I mean, he's, he's 11. Yeah. And... Uh, He's kind of all about a few things like gaming right now, but if, if you guys don't already know, he has his own YouTube channel now that's doing mm. very well. It's called Colt in the Wild. You can check it's it out. So great. And yeah, he's already got thousands of subscribers and he just launched it a few weeks ago, but he's very interested in reptiles. So he's a buddy nerd pathologist and that he could very well be something like the next Steve Irwin or Kuya Kim or Ants Canada, yeah. like these other Manila based herpetologists who are just incredible. Uh, and, you know, as far as college goes, it could go either way for those. I mean, Steve Irwin, Crocodile Hunter, I don't think he went to college. I don't know, but obviously know. there's so much to learn about herpetology if you do go to school, biology. And 
But I think, you know, we will support him and Brooklyn, whatever they choose to do to go into higher education or not. Um, we believe in them. They, we think they're going to be successful no matter what they choose. So, yeah, we're there for them. You know what? Hey, Brooklyn, on that note, why don't you come on over? So we have people watching from all over the place. And I want to tell you one of the things that most surprised me about us creating a separate channel that really focused on the Philippines is how worldwide our supporters are. So we have somebody say that they're watching from Saudi Arabia. We got Poland, Germany. Uh, we saw a lot of people who are in the US right now. So maybe you are making this cocktail with us in the evening. Uh, but really, really surprised, impressed, humbled, and grateful that we are finding so many global supporters. So thank you. Thank you for supporting us from all over the world. And since we've got some great comments and questions rolling in, and Brooklyn is here. What other, well, you know what, they were just asking about college or university. So yeah. we talked a little bit about Colt and which direction he could go, but what about you? Like the space thing. So Brooklyn, when she was little, little, was super, super into space. And then you dropped it for five years, maybe, like, yeah, whatever. And a year ago, maybe, in the past year, totally got back into it and obsessed now, right? Like she knows everything about space. What do you think about your future in the space industry, whether astronaut, astronomer, any like astrophysicist or anything like that? Uh, you can't be uh, shy. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I think um, an astrophysicist. Oh, an astrophysicist. Yeah, you'd be so good at it. She just spews out information of, uh, when it comes to space, so much more than I understand. Uh, we do online so, school, yeah. so yeah, pretty much. Oh, here, this oh, is your and, camera, buddy. Why yeah, and, over here? You guys can be side by side. So here, monitor let me, I'm gonna oh, actually go yeah, sure. over here and monitor and ask the questions because right. earlier sure, there were some inappropriate comments on there, so please keep it clean. I'm going to moderate this, okay? I'm concerned for my mental safety. You're <laughs> fine. <laughs> okay, up here, buddy. Oh, somebody's uh, asking your me, what actually, if I'm gonna be writing any more books, and I, I don't know for sure, but I will tell you, I love writing fiction, and Phil is really good at writing nonfiction, so I think between the two of us, like, we'd love to put some, some things together in the future. Uh, I've been thinking more and more about writing lately, especially around our travels. So who knows? That could happen. All right, let's get over a little bit more. Um, and like, okay. Getting here. Somebody wants to know top so three it. favorite moments in the Philippines, guys. Okay. Let me just name a couple. Colt, why don't you go first, since this will be your first answer. First time I caught a toke gecko in Bahal. Mm -hmm. It was amazing. All right, Brooklyn. How about you? Favorite top moment in the Philippines? Uh, maybe when we first got our apartment. Ah, good memory, and that was recent. We just got our apartment like a month ago, and that was a- Little bedroom with yeah. this perch. I, we're on the, like, I don't know, 20 something floor, I should know that. And like, she has just all glass around her on this big fur uh, loft and she can just look out and see the skyline and she just sits up there and reads and does her, her games. It's a, it's a really cool bedroom. So what? somebody wants to know, so people are asking uh, what our travel plans are, where we're gonna be visiting in the Philippines and outside of the Philippines. Uh, and we, we've been talking a lot about different ideas of where we're gonna go outside the Philippines. But in the Philippines, we really wanna go to Batanes, I hope I'm saying that correctly, and um, Davao and uh, Gumeris. We want to go to the mango festival. We really want to taste those Gumeris mangoes that everybody keeps telling us we have to try. So those are at the top of the list there. And then some of the other countries we want to go to outside the Philippines, all of them, everywhere. So we're just kind of organizing what we're going to do first and, and next. You know, I want to say what one of my favorite memories from the Philippines yes, is. and I'll read. Over just a little bit, sweetheart. Um, and this was on our first trip out there. We were just driving along in Bohol, if I remember correctly, and going through these rice fields. And I said, I don't understand how rice is harvested, how you go from a plant to all of these individual things without having to pick them off individually. So I asked our guide, I said, can we stop and see how that works? And they pulled us over 
and they went and talked to the workers in the field and took us out there and they totally taught us how to harvest rice. It's one of the most yeah. authentic, I've had literally for decades. Impromptu. And by the way, somebody commented about that one, mm -hmm. like in the past 10 hours, mm -hmm. and referred to that woman who was teaching us mm -hmm. as Ate, which is- She explained it perfect. I remember that comment, fascinating yeah. Fascinating because we never would have known what that term was at the time and not until or really a matter of maybe a few months ago yeah. and the Ocampos have their Ate and now she's going to be our Ate also. So it's just really cool how that all comes full circle. So I have a really fun question and it's from Mary. So good to see you on here, Mary. We remember you from our meet and greet. So thank you for being here again today. Um, but she wants to know if we could swap lives with any member of our family for a day, who would it be and why? Ooh. Do you guys know? Yeah. Go ahead, honey. Who would you say? Maybe because she doesn't have to do school. <laughs> Dexter. If you just joined us, Libby. Libby is our little Yorkie. Yeah, so she she lives with us part of the time, but she mostly lives with one of my best friends who lives two blocks away uh, when we're traveling. But Before she's here now. Um, so me, if I would swap places, it would be maybe Maybe I'd be Colt for a day. Oh, because... hey, by the way, everybody's in for a treat. I'm so oh! sorry. Reagan's back. <laughs> and she's gone. <laughs> Her boyfriend literally lives next door. Her, his house is eight feet from our house. My boyfriend also funny? lives next door. See you, hon. Isn't that funny? <laughs> I'm going to bring okay. down who I would want to switch lives with. Okay, okay who? Uh, Yo. Oh, I oh know. we know who right. you want to switch with. Um, okay, did you finish yours? Yeah, I would say Colt because it would be literally a life of adventure for a day. I would be out in the wild, outside, and grabbing lizards wherever I see them. I would trade with you so I could see if I'm a good husband or not. You are! He is! He is! <laughs> I'm obsessed with my husband. I love him so much. All right, that's cool. <laughs> okay. Um, <clears throat> Okay, even though we already traveled to Don Sol, hopefully we'll explore more of Bicol region. And if I'm saying that correctly, hopefully. I didn't see it. I spelled it. Bicol or... region. B I C O L. Yeah, Bicol. Um, yeah, we still want to explore, still want to go to more places and we still want to go back to some. But there is a, a volcano uh, that we weren't able to see because we flew in really late and it was dark. And then we left, I think, really early or maybe it was still late when we left so we didn't get to see it at all so i know there's still a lot for us to see all right cool you can answer the question about who in our family you would want to trade lives with now it's yeah. bob this oh. is bob no, no. okay her name is dexter Close it's my pet camera. gecko camera's over here i've buddy. had her for about two and a half years oh. she's a giant madagascar day gecko and she has a mate his name is lada there you go i might bring him down too no, 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 just one for now. No. Too, too much stuff going on, buddy. Okay. <laughs> okay. All right. Next? Somebody's asking us uh, how the AC unit is in our our apartment. And it's been great. We have one in each room. One, two, so, three, four. Yeah. Four total. Because I know there are a lot of people out there, like this commenter, who are thinking about moving to the Philippines or specifically BGC. And uh, we've got no issues with our AC units. We definitely turn them all off whenever we leave or if we're not in those rooms because we want to conserve energy, not just for money, but just for the environment. So. so in case it's unclear, our unit has those AC units that are like up on the wall in the room. So it's just a long unit versus central air like we have in this house, for example. And I prefer that because then you could really just air condition one room if you're just in one room as opposed to here where it's really doing the entire house all the time, whether we're in those rooms or not. It's very inefficient. So we're also getting asked if we have plans to bring other family members out to the Philippines. Now, Rangan, of course, is at the top of that list. And I think we're gonna have her come out this summer. And Mason. And her boyfriend, Mason. It's gonna um, be a twofer. Also, we have a very, very close friend, Amanda, who's traveled with us a lot. If you've been watching ABC for a while, you've definitely seen her, uh, and she wants to come visit. So uh, I, I imagine she'll come visit in the upcoming months. So those are the two we have planned, right? Yep. Am I missing? Okay. Uh, let me find another great question. Um, Okay, who take? this is a good question for you. Who takes care of Colt's geckos when we're gone? Okay, 
So number one, this is part of why those geckos are pretty decent pets for a traveling family like us, because for the most part, it's automated. Their terrarium needs to be very humid and Denver is very dry. So number one, we have a complete mister system in there that sprays water several times per day to keep it nice and moist. And we have that hooked up to a timer and a huge reservoir of water that's under the terrarium. So that takes care of that piece. Then we have a night heat lamp and a daytime heat lamp in there. And those are both on timers also. So they go on and off at set times throughout the day. And whenever we leave, we usually throw about 70 crickets in there so that they are good, usually for a couple of weeks. Then Reagan will stop by and feed them baby food, sometimes more crickets. Their favorite baby food is? Mangoes. Mangoes. <laughs> uh, so yeah, they're, they're pretty low maintenance in terms of like, they don't need daily interaction. They don't need daily feeding. Everything's automated. Yeah. Brooklyn, on the other hand, really wants a pet. Um, and pet. She would like to have a? A, a cat. Which is gonna be more challenging mm -hmm. when we go from home to home, right? Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so now we're being asked our favorite travel gadgets. Um, I have, I've got one top of mine. What? It is the travel gravel, the gravel blanket. travel blanket, and it's not a gadget, but I don't travel without it. And the thing is, is that it's actually pricier than we realized when it was given to us by the, the brand. And so we, we think it's a little overpriced for what it was, but I can't travel without it. So now that I've had it so long, I would pay for it. I can't remember. I think it was like $150. Hey mom. I was thinking maybe 120, but okay. yeah. what, do you, less, what do you see, buddy? That's a, that's a lot for a blanket, Someone but said, I can't live without it. You should please visit other cities in Metro Manila. Yes. Like a, Kuala Lumpur? It's past now. I okay. forget what it okay. said, but it was like Kuala Lumpur. So is... that you're in camera, buddy, and then you yeah. can hear you better. Oh, that yeah. is yeah. something that we plan to do, is traveling more around the Metro Manila area. And, and we do also want to travel to different, uh, you know, economic communities. And we want to see how all walks of life are living and, and learn about those as well. Because that's a different cultural group. Even within a city, there's going to be different cultural groups. What's your favorite travel gadget? You take quite a few. What's your favorite gadget to travel with? Uh, my phone. Her phone. My, my phone. Your iPhone? Okay. More than your iPad for uh, travel? Yeah. Okay. What about you, buddy? Oh, it's tough. Mm. I mean, honestly, overall it'd be my phone, but that's just boring. So like, I mean, like it's boring for everyone to say their phone. The other, either way, I mean, it might be my new travel blanket that I got because it's fleece and I love fleece. I collect fleece things like squishmallows. I have like 11 of them. So this is at least two questions now about our favorite things. And we should note that on our website, we have an entire collection of our favorite things. It is followabc.com slash stuff we love. Probably, I don't know, four or five dozen items in there categorized all of our favorite things for travel or for clothing, fashion, um, all of our camera gear, people are always asking about that, and even stuff around the house. Like we just did our cooking Filipino food at home episode. We got to use our ice cream maker, which is happens to be part of stuff we love. So you can see everything there. We have so many great questions. Um, I'm gonna try to quick fire them a little bit, but somebody's asking if we ever fight, if we argue while we're traveling. And, <laughs> and oh wait, yeah, getting your an answer. What do you think, Brooklyn? Do you guys ever argue? Yeah, well, we <laughs> do. They definitely do, a lot. You mean me and dad? Uh -huh. With each other or with you? With everybody. Every <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> like everybody. Uh, it checks out. We, yeah, there's... Uh, I, it I, is what it is, you know? I yeah. mean, we are not as Don't diligent I. as some people about just keeping our cool. And, of course, when you're constantly traveling, it can be somewhat stressful for various reasons. So, yeah, there are a lot of times... Um, sometimes kids don't want to do school. Sometimes... We're all jet lagged. It can become challenging sometimes. Did you guys see a question you wanted to do? I see someone who says, when are you going to Davao City? And that's Kindy. Davao. Davao City, yeah. that's Kindy. That's uh, like, you know, at the top of our list. Like we really want to go there soon. So, I mean, maybe in Probably the next... Probably this spring. Yeah. yeah. Within the Probably next couple of months. Yeah. yeah. And you know, let's talk about that for a second because we just, uh, we knew that we were going to come back to Manila on February 24th. We leave Denver. Um, we'll be out there just in time for my birthday, February 27th. It's going to be a lot of fun. 
I we'll probably be on High Street um, doing brunch because we're jet lagged, so it won't be dinner. We're gonna do a birthday brunch. And uh, we just got our tickets to come back here. And, and this after back, like what? And five back weeks? again. Because here, travel hack. Let me explain a little travel hack is that it is like half the price for some of these options to fly from Manila round trip versus in the US round trip. Okay. Yeah. So anyway, we're gonna be out in uh, Manila until March 25th. I think Can't March remember. 25th. So we're gonna be out there about five weeks. Mm -hmm. Then we come back for three weeks. Mm -hmm. And then we head back out. And because Reagan's gonna be on a spring, no, she was already in spring break. Yeah, so she's I think summer break. So then I think we're gonna have her out for summer. So we might actually be out there for like two months straight after that. So the vast majority of spring into early summer, mm -hmm. I think we're gonna be out there. Um, oh, is your, your hat on sale yet? People are asking about the hat. We love the hat. Yeah, um, I might just like bump that thing down to where there's no margin whatsoever. Um, it's a little bit tough if you want to go to our website and just buy one of those because of shipping. But if you go and buy like multiple hats or shirts and stuff, when we have shirts, sweatshirts, bags, everything with that same uh, Philippines US symbol that I created on there, uh, then the shipping fees don't go up um, relative to it or anything. So it can become more affordable. If we're talking about people who specifically who live in the Philippines, I think that I'm gonna have those things bulk produced in the Philippines also, so that we can just fulfill directly from Manila, and then it would be less expensive. So we're doing what we can. Yeah, we don't print that stuff. We have a partner that we work with. They set the base price for it. They take care of all the shipping. So uh, at this point, I think if someone buys one of those hats, we, <laughs> we maybe make a couple of bucks. And like I said, we might reduce that to zero just so people can get their hands on it. Cause I just think it's a, it's a cool, you know, like brotherhood, United States plus Philippines kind of thing. And it's more about spreading the message than making any kind of money off of the merch. Okay. And Colt, did you have something you wanted to say? I had two questions asked. All right. First one, if I'm interested in bearded dragons, I am, although my favorite animals are geckos because they have sticky pads. Oh my God. Gosh. What's also, uh, someone said, do you play any games? And yes, I do. I compete in tournaments on Fortnite and Call of Duty all the time, and I play on an Xbox One S. Whew. Okay. All right. Oh, I love a, a recurring question that we keep getting is about what we do for a living outside of vlogging. Do we have jobs? Okay, so first of all, I think it is followabc.com slash websites. So you can go to our website and follow abc.com. Yeah, follow abc.com slash websites. It's an entire page that, thank you. <laughs> We're about to argue. <laughs> <laughs> that is dedicated, to, it talks about the fact that almost 25 years ago, I started a web marketing agency and continue to run it today. I just do it remotely, virtually and uh, the people who work for me are all around the world also. So that's what pays our bills. Um, well, most of our bills, because the channel pays some of the bills, just not enough. Yeah, we are making, you know, a business out of our travels, which is kind of the goal. I mean, that's the dream job really, is to make a living out of, out of the lifestyle. Um, oh, you can switch back so you can see comments. Oh, um, but hey, if because we know we got a ton of more comments to cover. If you guys want to go chill or sit, oh, you want to answer one? Yeah, this is his go favorite ahead. part. No, 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 no not that's cute. Nah, 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 nah. Okay, yeah. okay, cool. All right. Um, will you be doing? Ooh, will you be doing a travel series soon uh, to Luzon? Um, now Can we I know. That? Yeah. Like this yeah. Mm-hmm. Like. The, the point of us having a place in BGC is, you know, partly so that we can be there with our friends, but mostly so that it's very easy for us to explore more and more of the 7,000 islands of the Philippines. So just like with Puerto Princesa, I mean, it was easy for us to just jump on that flight, run over there for several days and then come back. We, I mean, the, the places that we're listing here that, that you guys are asking about in, in your questions are... We get them all the time and they're at the top of our list. So we are just gonna be running through there, banging out as many as we can. We wanna explore as much of the country as we possibly can. And this, this is what's gonna make it possible, having a home there so that we can do that. Just 
one after another. But a lot of people have asked if we're going to get a car in the Philippines. And, and that, no. No. <laughs> I, I hate driving to begin with, so I wouldn't be driving. Um, and I just think that it's easy to do the ride shares. It's easy to set up transportation for longer trips. And we love walking everywhere in BGC or even to Uptown. It's so easy to walk there. Um, Colt needs to find a Filipina girlfriend. I need to plug my channel. Uh, oh. We already did it for you, but go ahead. Yeah. Talk about it. Okay. I'd like to hear you. Also, I have gonna a talk channel, about his channel called Colt in the Game, and that one's oh. a lot harder to find. So just go to Colt in the Wild and subscribe. Okay. Uh, and when Aaron said Colt needs to find a Filipina girlfriend, just in case you couldn't tell, that was actually Curb Kirby? Kirby. Curdy. Curdy. Recommending that. Uh, although, we totally support that. Kirby. Kirby commented. Whatever makes our kids happy, that is, that's what we support. I totally agree. All right, you got So, me. Kevin, I don't know if you missed the Colt bringing down his, um, his pet Dexter, the, the gecko, just a little bit ago. But you can see that earlier in the episode. Uh, let's see here. Oh, was it a whole family vote to travel full time? Do the kiddos always want to travel? We took our daughters to Europe for four years. First six months was rough, but then they didn't want to leave. I would say our experience is maybe flip-flopped a little bit. We all started traveling as a family, even Reagan, basically during COVID. And I mean, there wasn't much of an alternative at that point. It was either that or just sit at home and do school. So everybody was very into it. And I think as all of our kids are getting older, everyone so far except for Cole has some real desire to kind of change that up, do less on the road kind of stuff. Brooklyn wants to be an in-person school, so we're already looking into options for that. Uh, Reagan, obviously, she wanted to go to in-person high school and has been now. She's on her third year there. So, um, I don't know, do you guys want to add anything? Like, Cole, how do you feel about it so far? About traveling? I love traveling. I love the Philippines especially. I want to go to Guam now because them. we're already working on getting a condo slash house in Guam, but we've never even been there. <laughs> That's almost zero. Yeah, and our true. address is this. <laughs> we, we were brainstorming one day about, you know, ideas and stuff to do, but we're not really, I wouldn't say that we're working on getting a place in Guam. I would say that it's an idea that we thought of that we're noodling on, it's, you know, but not seriously. But was it a vote? It wasn't a vote because, I mean, these two were little munchkins at the time. You know, you go back and watch our very first episodes and they just have these little squeaky voices because they were so little. Don't you but eat everybody loved it. The, yeah, those little donut holes, yeah. Um, but Brooklyn, you'd love to be an in-person school, right? Yeah. So we're working on that. If not yeah. for next year, then for high school, for sure. But uh, eighth grade is next year, so we're, we're, we're looking into options. Well, we don't really do votes, uh, but what Phil and I do is just try to account for everybody and think about like what is the best solution for the family as a whole. So and, we do our best. Yeah. I, th I think that that's an important distinction. Um, as the parents, we want to make sure that we're giving them a childhood that they enjoy, yes, but that is going to set them up for success as adults too. And I mean, this, not only would it go so far into helping them get into the college of their choice, if that's what they decided to do, but they are already world thinkers. And as adults, they're going to be very worldly. And I just think that's very unique in our experience here in the US. Yeah. But I mean, I didn't want to get up at 4 a.m. and do chores in the freezing blizzards of Indiana when I was a kid, but I didn't have a choice. I'm sure I learned some stuff from that too, but not nearly as much as you guys learned from traveling the world. No. Yeah, traveling the world, doing super fun things, waking up in the cold, doing chores, same thing, right? Ah, no. <laughs> <laughs> not really. Uh, so, Yun Rose, or Rome, Rome, sorry, and I, I might not be pronouncing it right, One, uh, says Rome. that we should do this yeah, once a week. So I don't know if we're going to do this once a week, but we're thinking about maybe doing it on a regular basis, maybe once a month. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And mm -hmm. then maybe each time Phil creates a cocktail as an icebreaker, you know, and then we can go into some more Q&As each time. Hey, Brooklyn, because Clemente wants to know, what will be Brooklyn's channel? You want to talk about Ooh, yes. that? I don't really, I don't really have 
channel. But what well, would it be? two channels at least. No, Three? No, I don't really. It's like a YouTube <laughs> channel that I use as uh -huh. like if I want to watch YouTube and stuff, and there's another one that I just don't use. Gotcha. Not publishing content currently. Um, I think it's Buku Life though. Brooklyn and Colt have kind of gone through phases in terms of YouTubing, so they've, they've started multiple channels. Um, Brooklyn, you had Buku Life, Buku Art, you guys had BNC Pros, Colt has Colt Craft, oh. Colt in the Game, Colt in the Wild, and they just kind of pick them up when they have something that they're inspired by and want to share. So maybe Brooklyn will have another one at some point. She started talking about it in the past week, right? So you never know. She is the most incredible artist. She really is, like one oh of those true, just incredible, it, it's talent. Now well, it's talent and it's skill. But um, if you haven't seen any of her stuff on our channels, uh, it, you would think that an adult professional artist was drawing these animations that she made, or uh, illustrations that she makes. They're really cool. Yeah, beyond so, what I could even imagine. Brooklyn can do fashion. She is beautiful. Yeah, she can. She is. Did you hear that one? You could do fashion. because you're. Be and you know what? She used to make clothes. She used to be really into... Um, uh, being a seamstress and using her, um, her oh, I'm tongue tied. Yeah. Using her sewing machine, she, made, she used to take classes. Last year, she made all of our family Christmas pajamas. Love them. Um, but yeah, she's, she does that fashion. But and the modeling, we just shared this again. Her uh, Malibu, LA gig that she was out there for. But she used to do a lot of modeling when she was younger. Colt also did some, and yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Do uh, you have any problems adjusting to time differences? Uh, U.S. to Philippines, yes. But we've got it pretty dialed in. We do a really good job with the flights, like knowing how to sleep, when to sleep. Sometimes the kids don't do as good of a job and their jet lag lasts longer, but that's okay. We don't want to make it tough on them. We, we usually let them do whatever their body feels they need to do. So if it's sleeping the entire... Okay, that's enough, girl. Um, if it's sleeping the... <laughs> okay. Okay. She's so fun. Uh, if it's sleeping the whole flight, then it's sleeping the whole flight. So we usually just let them do whatever they feel like they need. Hello Kitty commented in our video. Hello Kitty. Hello she's Kitty. Trying. All right, uh, let's I don't see. Know she's so, and Randolph wants to retire in BGC. I totally understand yeah. that. What a great place. Um, Hopefully we can be on the next meet and greet. Yeah, if you didn't catch our meet and greet, uh, we'll, I'm sure that we'll be doing more. Uh, probably a lot of impromptu stuff too around the world because not everybody can make it to BGC for one of those. Um, let's see. Wait, what does each you... family member miss about living in the US? So when we're in, in Manila at our house, go ahead, honey. In-person school. <laughs> but she doesn't have in-person school here, so that's so, facetious. Yeah. What do you actually miss? When we when we lived in the U.S. Uh, had, uh, well, we still live here. What do you miss when we're gone, when we're traveling, yeah. that's furry and sitting on the couch? You were just talking about earlier today. The pillow? <laughs> Your child. She's just saying she misses Livy the most when we travel. Um, I would say that... Oh, don't, she's sleeping. Don't grab her. It's okay, honey. Um, I would say that I miss the, my bed here in this house the most. It's just the comfortable mattress. They have mattress. the most amazing bed ever. Yeah, Quite it's pretty nice it. and comfy. Plus, this is, I mean, I don't know what, how you guys are going to feel about this, but I sleep with a teddy bear that I have from my childhood still, and I have it here at this house. So when I'm traveling, I actually miss my teddy bear. And I'm a grown woman, so. Well, apparently not. <laughs> just kidding. Um, and you know, I, I miss the shopping and I'm not talking about like going to the mall and shopping bags. I'm Amazon. just saying anytime we need to buy anything. Yeah. Like Amazon here, I can go on and probably 80% of the stuff we have to order from Amazon, whether it's camera equipment or even food, they'll be delivered same day or the next morning. And we don't really have that in Manila. And just to find the things that we want, whether it's certain foods or, uh, supplies for the apartment, those kinds of things can be harder to find in BGC. We can mm -hmm. go to SNR, mm -hmm. but even that, the, the, the selection is different from what we're used to here. So that's, that's, that would be mine. Okay. Cool. How we, did you, go ahead. Oh, oh, I thought he was going to answer his, it's, it's his. Oh yeah, yeah. Goes, you want to? For sure. It said, yeah. wait, which one was it? No. Cause I, I remember the one that was up. Uh, it said, Cole, when did you start 
catching geckos, right, that one? Yeah, go ahead. Yeah. Yeah, well, how did um, you get into geckos? How did I get into geckos? So we first started catching lizards in uh, Cabo. Cabo. Cabo San Lucas, geckos, Mexico. Cabo San Lucas, Me Mexico. <laughs> um, otherwise, in Coronado Island, we have a few videos there. Is when I first started catching lizards. I caught one or two there, and then I started catching a lot of geckos, lizards, and snakes when we went to Cabo and Costa Rica. Yeah, it just sort of evolved over time. And, you know, when this kid gets obsessed over stuff, like, he really gets obsessed. So... Um, I don't think his love for reptiles is going anywhere in his lifetime. I think he's like set for life in wanting to catch geckos. Here's another one about Reagan, and since she's not here tonight, we'll keep representing, but it was, why doesn't she travel? Or why doesn't our oh, oldest daughter travel with us mm -hmm. more, we should say, because sometimes she does. Uh, and the reason for that, she's from my first marriage, and so she splits her time between her mom's house and our house. And she traveled with us on almost all of our trips during COVID and shortly thereafter when schools were shut down basically. And then she said, I really wanna to go to in-person school. And her mom said, I really want her to go to in-person school in Denver where she also lives. So, you know, she got to make that decision. And uh, what we ended up doing then was we would travel when she was with her mom. So that's kind of how it works now. We, you know, I mean, in some senses wouldn't even have to come back from our place in Manila if it weren't for the fact that we want to come back and spend time with Reagan. So we just go back and forth so that we can see her and then be traveling also. All right, somebody has a question for Brooklyn. What excites you when you travel? You know what I know about you? If you're having a hard time coming up with something, she loves the people, the culture. Like when I always think about you with that little baby in India and you love experiences like that. But do you have something else? that you want to share? Uh, the people in the culture. Oh, yeah, it's right there, baby. Is that the people in the culture? People in the culture, yeah. I feel like you really get do well when you're like meeting people face to face and like, you know, understanding like a totally different culture. You just like soak yourself in it. Like, Which especially is why in Indian. in-person school, not online school. Um, I understood. But like in India, like even the out, the outfits, the saris, like she loved that and wore them every single day. Okay, should and then should we wind it down? Yeah, let's yeah. let's like close it out at the hour, okay. maybe. We so, love doing. Hey, this. Brooklyn. Yun Romes loves your uh, magenta hair color, by the way. Suits you on yeah. and your uh, highlights, buddy. Them, but again real quick. But, uh, okay, so we had a um, Manila makeover episode where we all got our hair done, everybody but Phil, because he had to film for it. And Brooklyn uh, got her maroon hair. <laughs> and Colt got his, he got little highlights. Um, and he, his dream is to get a perm, actually. I don't know. All right, like Aaron, Aaron was trying to do the speed round a little bit ago, and since we're closing out, and I wish we could keep up with all these questions, guys. I'm so sorry. We really appreciate everybody being here and asking these questions. It means the world to us. We will get and to I'm, them in the comments, though. Yes, yes, absolutely. So let's see. You guys in the Ocampos live well. It would be fun to do a video parent switch for a day. We've yeah. heard that before, and we've talked about it, and it may very well happen that soon. Be so fun. Uh, magenta. Hope you don't cook pork synagogue, pork stew. Hope, oh, oh, hope you could try to cook it. Yeah. After that episode that we did where we cooked uh, chicken adobo uh, and, and a couple of other things, a lot of people said pork synagogue. So we would love to do that one. Uh, let's see. Please visit. Largest, the biggest pet shop in the Philippines, Colt, is Cardemar Pase, Philippines. Pase. Gotta go there. So thank you for offering that because he loves to visit pet shops. And... I uh, love how much move. knowledge he has when we go and, and visit. Like, there are animals that I've never heard of that he knows everything about. Or even, like, when we went to the pet con and we saw the hedgehog, he knew it felt like everything about the hedgehog and I I didn't know he he knew about things outside of reptiles but <laughs> apparently he knows about every animal. Uh, um, oh here Cole do not get a perm your hair will literally fall out I added that last part. <laughs> your hair will I don't want him to get a perm. He has the most amazing thick healthy beautiful hair. So now so. we're lying? 
Hey, Uncle Jaycation wants to know if the Super Bowl is televised in BGC. You might be asking the wrong people because uh, I hope we don't make anybody mad. We don't really watch, we don't care too much about the Super Bowl. I would much prefer to watch the commercials than the game as a general rule. So we're not sure. I'm sure you can find it. With a VPN, you could stream it at least, right? Yeah. I'm actually going to be watching the Super Bowl uh, with my dad in Texas. I leave to go see him tomorrow. Uh, I miss him so, so much. He and I are very, very close. And uh, we're just going to sit around and watch the Super Bowl together. We don't have any skin in the game, but I think I'm leaning towards the Chiefs because of our bestie Amanda. She's a big Chiefs fan. Hey, shout out to Ohana Beach Suites because yeah. they are one of the first people to comment on every single episode. We've got a lot of really, really good subscribers and followers but uh they said family is everything keep creating memories thank you guys we look forward to your comments on every episode and thank you for always being there for us um quite a comment about being from colorado and people have mentioned this to us when we travel that uh people know denver where we're from because of the denver nuggets and being like the what, world champions or whatever you call it now because they won the, the basketball finals. championships yeah so yeah, everybody knows about the Nuggets now. That's how they know Denver. Otherwise, I feel like a lot of people didn't know Denver, but they knew Colorado. Well, I saw so. a comment come through just now from Denver that they have a 12-day-old, I'm assuming baby. So <laughs> congratulations. That's it's an amazing special time. I love the infant years. Oh, the year. And somehow I got past this one, but at some point somebody said, what's your worst travel experience? And we have not had many bad travel experiences other than the basic stuff like yeah. missed flights. Delay flight. We've um, never missed a flight. We almost missed a flight right. the last time we were on our way. Right. That almost broke my heart, but it worked out. We got on the flight. A couple of canceled flights, no big deal. Late flights, no big deal. Uh, some yeah. lost luggage or delayed luggage, I should say. Not, never lost, just always delayed. That almost it broke all my worked heart out. too. In Jakarta, when it, they lost my bag. Those do make for some pretty good content sometimes, so it evens out. When yeah. our roof exploded. That's the thing is that there's, you know, some people go looking for drama to create content, and we really truly never do that because there's enough drama in life. And, uh, you know, if it happens, then it, this is like organic and natural because we stumble across, you know, bumps in the road, hard times every now and then, and we share it, and we don't need to go looking for more drama. <laughs> hey, Brian Fiorenza says, Colt should do a face your fear challenge where he gets others to hug an anaconda. That's, he gets to do that every day with me because I, I hate snakes. No. You want to hug it? Now he's jealous no. that he would have other people hug it. <laughs> <laughs> um, do you have merch? Uh, follow abc.com slash merch. Uh, and we're particularly proud of the new combination design that I made with the United States flag and the Philippines flag. And... Anyway. <laughs> so we've got to wrap it up here, but uh, yeah, uh, I mean, just so many great comments. I really wish we could just sit here for the next three hours and answer all of them. Thank you so much for showing up. Uh, I know that we've got people on here from all over the world right now, and some of them literally it's like 4 a.m. right now, and that's just absolutely incredible. Yeah. We tried to time this so that it would work well for, for us, not too bad anyway, so it's 8 p.m., mm -hmm. uh, but mostly for people who are in the Philippines since it's our LTP channel. And the fact that other people are logging on in just the, the wee hours is absolutely incredible. I also want to thank Peter Petitos again. once again, the only vodka with a Tagalog name. Yes. And <laughs> we've, we're going to be back out in uh, BGC Manila in two about two weeks, less yeah. than two weeks that we leave. Yes. So we'll be out there soon and we're going to be there for quite a while. So we can't wait to post more content from there. You're going to see a lot of fresh new stuff from and, the islands. Yeah, and our next uh, live will be from BGC in our apartment. Oh, nice. I didn't yeah. even know that. That's going to be fun. Keep an eye out for that. I might be doing a Q&A tomorrow. Oh, really? Okay. <laughs> uh, yeah, on your channel. You well, he might. He might. So again, if you haven't subscribed to Colt's new channel, it's Colt in the Wild. Check it out. He's got some really compelling content. They're very informative episodes. A lot of fun, mostly exploring the Philippines and catching critters, mostly lizards, like and it's pretty scary stuff. <gasps> it's adorable stuff. <laughs> thank you, thank you, thank you for being here, and we will catch you in our next live and our next episodes. And thank you for following us over time, not yeah. just for being here tonight, but we really appreciate the support. That's what this is all about. 
and we can't thank you enough. So. Peace from right. Colt. Here's the awkward, let's turn let's off the turn line. Let's turn off, where's the button here? Oh, I can't even find it. This is embarrassing. Bye. There, ah, there Bye. it is.